as we are about to get underway. Ian McNulty in the centre. Face to face with Robert Lakovic. Coventry just win that face off and we're off here in Brayhead Arena. Get off the boards. Lands in front of McNulty. McNulty put under pressure by Lakovic. Sol feeds it back round the outside. Lakovic. And Kanda too. Stevenson, what a start! for the Glasgow clan, 21 seconds on the clock and it's the captain Dyson Stevenson he said that very thing earlier this week but starting well, picks up the puck here and swept it past Cozen, 1-0 for the clan touch on from Petrick, back to Callan Callan nudges it forward, can't make the entry Petrick, quite a shot from Reid Petrick blasting on the Coventry net Good movement, that was Sonja on the far side, spotted Petrick on this inside left. Petrick not messing about, tried the shot. Talberg whips in ahead of the clan D-man there, Talberg. Better equipped, good pass, County. The two-on-one opportunity, Forbes, too high. Unlucky from Alex Forbes, set up by Jordan County. Good pass, and that really opened things up there. Archie Hazeldean was the one player back. And unfortunately too high for Alex Forbes. Sonj works well. There's Luke Lynch in the thick of things there. JD Dudek picks it up now, takes it down the left-hand side. Tries to cut inside. It's a fresh air shot. And in the end, it lands harmlessly under the glove of Kevin Linskoog. Dudek looked threatening coming up that left-hand side. His first attempt at a shot, I think the momentum was gone. And he did get the shot away. It was relatively tame. And it's Kobe Roth. Tries the shot off the logo of Linskoog. A second shot, but it's landed in the net. No, no goal. A high stick has decreed that's not a goal. Linskoog made the initial save. A high stick up there. And Clant get a let off there. Well, I think the official are going to take a look anyway. There's a view from behind the net. Linskook making that save. I'm trying to see where the high stick is. That, that one there maybe. Yep, Talberg. Looks to me like they might have got that one right, but that's just my opinion. Here they come. The officials are returning to the ice. No goal. So let off for the Clant. No goal. Inside the final three minutes of this first period. Gets away from Norwich to quickly turn and reset himself Kirk up Kirk creates a little bit of room for himself tries a shot on Kevin Linskoog and it is a good stop from the clan netminder Kirk up taking it here making the entry, cuts inside again and spots the gap, goes for it Linskoog says no Commentary 19.09% 8th in the league overall the clan 74.17 penalty kill 1 on 1 chance Lakovic and not quite the way that would have went for the clan there Norish to Talberg De Roche about to return to action Norish has it, throws it in it's off Roth but Coventry have found their way into the net and they've got the equalising goal. As Ian McNulty manages to squeeze it past Linskoog. Has to drive forward. Sonj. The Nick takes it away from the clan number 10, but he's won it back. Lynch. Inside to Sonj. It's a tap in. And I think that's been waved off. The referees are going to look at it again. That's the gesture being made here. No, it has been given. So Sonch gets the touch on the puck. Kozun turns. Now, it's a question of whether that puck has crossed the line. That view there is difficult to see. And the refs, if there's any doubt, can't give the goal. That, just my view on it. What is the verdict? No goal. They've not given it. I just think the puck with the glove in the way as the obstruction didn't clearly show if the puck had crossed the line so Clan 
Third best power play in the league. Against the second best penalty kill. This could be a bit of a challenge for the clan here. Oh! Gary Hayden, and that goal is given. Clan straight away have scored on the power play. Gary Hayden with the shot from the left hand side. Shot comes in. Yeah, it hit the net, went through the net, I think. Did it? No. Certainly gone in, that's for sure. No doubt about that one. Pitch off a stick. Allows Coventry to try and win it back, and they do so. Luciani, 2 1. Breaks here, Luciani tries the shot straight at Talberg. And a good save from the clan netminder there. That opportunity opening itself up for the Blaze. Luciani, you thought maybe an early pass to Talberg, but no, decided to take it himself. And I think momentum was gone. I think Linskoog knew exactly at that point what Luciani was going to do. Jammed in, Luciani. Well, oh, it's in the net. Oh, it's Mike Pellick. Comes away from that corner position. Pellick on the turn, spotted the gap. In it goes at the far post to beat Taran Kozern 3 1. Clemens has to chase. He's got Craig Head behind him. Kukali takes it on for the Blaze now. Stretch pass, Curran inside for Roth. Kobe Roth denied by Linskook. What a save from Kevin Linskook. Coventry win the draw. Thompson tries the shot. Good catch from Kevin Linskook. Don't imagine he would have had a lot of time to see that one coming, but my goodness, he did very well in making the catch. Comes out to Thompson, lashed at it. Linskook made the grab. Going forward. Two Blaze players coming together, just let it go. Luckily for them, no clan players were there to pick up Dudek. Good shot, good save from Linskook. The whistle blew. I think the officials anticipated a catch from Linskook. Maybe blew the whistle a bit, a bit prematurely there. No Spellacy for the Blaze. Kukali. And now a chance opens up. Philip Sanch. Kozun was equal to it. Kukali. Thompson. Loses it. One on one chance here. Darian Craighead. Good save from Kozun. And Hayden's follow up. Grabbed by the Coventry Netminder. Real chance. For the home team there. Thompson couldn't get it under control. Darren Craighead saw the path down to the Coventry net. Good initial save from Kozun. Hayden followed up backhanded. Good save. Clan denied. Harry quickly turns to sweep it back in. Didn't realise Bryce Reddick was right behind him though. Spellacy. He's got a chance. And they've got one back. Coventry Blaze. Tyler Kirkup executes the finish to make it 3-2. Good pass forward, Kirkup just slots it underneath Kevin Linskook. Feeds off to Curran, back to Norrish. Curran again. Do Norrish fancy it? He does, it's hit the post. Recognises the danger. Fans making the noise here in Brayhead Arena. Lakovic, yes! Empty net goal! From Robert Lakovic, we'll see a big victory for the Glasgow clan here tonight at Brayhead Arena. The nudge, Lakovic loses his stick, pass inside to Harrison. Harrison combines with Dyson Stevenson, but that will do it. Clan finally have a home victory for the first time since the end of December. A first victory after six losses. <laughs>